GAM started data management since 2007. Shifting from manual data to the geographical system, it was one of the big achievements for GAM. And after 2007, initiated the GIS department, the geographical information system, which worked on uh, 256 layers, collecting data from all over Amman, like the road network, topography, urban facilities for people, natural heritage and cultural heritage. It built those layers to help uh, like urban planners and decision makers uh, to analyze this data and uh, give the best to the city. They give evidence-based data to decision maker and the urban planner uh, to control the city and the expansion of the city and make a good management for, for urban planning. And also to determine uh, uh, the need of people uh, for the public transportation and the housing sector and uh, education and public facilities for future planning but still we need like more focus on the behavior of people and how they commute in the city in order to respond to, to their needs because if you just keep looking for the physical boundaries and the physical layers we will not satisfy the needs of people or citizens of the city. I think the major issue of Amman now is the public transportation. We need to focus on this uh, sector and we need more researchers and data scientists to help us how to figure out the commuters inside the city uh, in order to orient our development or uh, to the trans transit uh, lanes because uh, now uh, we, we need uh, like to focus where people commute and why they move to this part of the city exactly many factors can attract people to go from one place to another for example if they have more good wage, wages or uh, good employment areas or they can use efficient public transportation in the city to move from one spot to another. So I think we have to focus on uh, the, the social uh, behavior of the people so we can provide them a good uh, urban management for the city.